This is the representation of a dog's stomach when it's filled with some food and water. And this is how it looks inside your dog's body, which is shaped like a hammock. If you feed your dog a lot of food and then go play with them, throw the ball, or go for a run, their stomach may flip and twist. You now have one or two hours to take your dog to the vet for an emergency surgery. The vets will need to open up your dog, untwist the stomach, and place it back in its correct position so it doesn't rupture and the blood flow doesn't cut off. If this does happen to your dog, it's crucial to act quickly. Rushing to the vet within the first one to two hours is essential for emergency surgery. This condition is known as bloat or gastric dilation and volvulus. Large, deep-chested breeds are more prone to this condition. For example, Great Danes will have 40% of chances of experiencing bloat during their lifetime, and all dogs will almost always die without immediate medical intervention. Other predisposed breeds include St. Bernard's, Weimariners, German Shepherds, Irish Setters, Gordon Setters, Standard Poodles, Basset Hounds, Doberman Pinchers, and Old English Sheepdogs. But remember, while it is more common in large breed or deep-chested dogs, any breed can develop bloat. Signs and Symptoms One indicator that your dog might have flipped stomach is unsuccessful vomiting. Your dog will repeatedly try to vomit without bringing anything up. This is a big, big sign that your dog has flipped stomach. Sometimes, you will see them producing a foamy saliva. Another noticeable symptom is an enlarged abdomen with your dog's stomach appearing bloated and swollen. Most dogs will also act restless, pant, and may have difficulty breathing. They will have nervous energy, pacing around and unable to sit still. They will often be hunched over and have a tucked tail. It's important to note that the longer you delay seeking help, the more serious the situation can become. One of the big things we want to stress is how quickly this can happen. The stomach dilates, it twists, and it loses blood supply. You really need to be on it in terms of recognizing the signs. Cause and Prevention Dogs can get bloat for many reasons, and there are several ways to reduce risks. Exercise after ingestion of large meals or large amounts of water has shown to increase the risk of bloat. It's recommended to wait about two hours after a meal before engaging in strenuous physical activity. It is best to offer small to moderate amounts of water and limit drinking 30 minutes prior to any heavy exercise. Dogs fed one meal a day are twice as likely to bloat as those fed two meals a day. Rate of eating is also a contributor. Fast eaters have five times the risk than dogs that are slow eaters. Using slow feeder bowls with fingers or putting large rocks in the bowl slows dogs down physically, which will help. But it's also important to address the anxiety that comes with feeding around other dogs, because that can also be a risk factor. Dogs who are exclusively fed dry kibble are also at higher risk, especially if the kibble contains fat or oil listed among the first four ingredients. Be sure to feed your pet the high-quality food they deserve. In high-risk breeds, some vets recommend a preventive surgical procedure. During this surgery, Vets open up the dog and staple the stomach to the body wall, and that keeps the stomach from flipping in the future. Lastly, it's important to note that GDV surgery can be very expensive. It's wise to consider insuring your pet for financial peace of mind. Now that we talked about bloat, the mother of all emergencies, let's talk about some other potentially serious signs that a dog needs help and must be rushed to the vet immediately. Number 9. Behavioral Changes Dogs are creatures of habit, and they are usually pretty consistent with their behavior. So, if they develop any new habits or seem to be behaving differently, it should cause you to raise an eyebrow. Any change in behavior is typically the first sign your furry friend is not feeling well. Each dog's behavior is unique, so it's important to assess how their behavior and mannerisms have changed and in what period of time. For example, if you think your pet is suddenly sleeping more than usual, you should probably take them to a vet. Number 8. Appetite Loss Most of the time, dogs will gladly scarf down their entire bowl of food or steal that unattended sandwich from the table. Dogs will often eat things that aren't even food, too. This being said, a dog who seems to be eating less or who has stopped eating is one who needs medical attention. A loss of appetite can mean infection, parasites, gastric disease, 
diabetes, and even cancer in some cases. Number 7. Your dog is panting more than normal. Every dog pants on a hot day or after exercise, but they should not have trouble breathing after some rest or a return to cool temperatures. If panting seems excessive compared to your dog's normal behavior, if it sounds louder or harsher than normal, or if it occurs at strange times, a vet visit is necessary. Panting is a subtle, often overlooked sign of an underlying issue. Dogs may also pant abnormally when they get stressed or experience pain. You often see this type of panting during fireworks when your dog is scared. Number 6. Your dog excessively licks or grooms a certain area. If your dog has an injury, like a cut on the paw, they will do everything they can to alleviate that pain. One of the most common behaviors dogs use to comfort their physical discomfort is excessive licking or grooming. If you notice your canine is biting, licking, or grooming a certain area of their body more often than usual, they could be trying to tell you they're in pain and need help. Number 5. Their gums change color. Normally, your dog's gums should be a bubblegum pink color. When pressed with your finger, the gums should lighten to a pale pink or white color. And when you take your finger off, they should return to the normal pink color within two seconds. So, when you catch a glimpse of those gums and they're not pink and vibrant, your pet could be suffering from some kind of sickness. White or pale gums that lack color are usually a sign of blood loss or poor circulation. Bluish gums can indicate a life-threatening lack of oxygen. Bright red gums can be a sign of heat stroke, dental injuries, or eating something toxic. Number 4. Postural Changes When your tummy or joints hurt, you might have an instinct to stretch the area. Dogs have this instinct too. So if your dog starts to display odd positions, such as arching their back or hunching over, he might be experiencing abdomen problems. It's their way of trying to alleviate discomfort or pain. Number 1. They're keeping to themselves. Dogs who go from craving their owner's attention to hiding under the bed all day are most likely in bad shape. If your dog has lower energy levels and is not as playful or active as normal, this is something to be concerned about. Remember, canines have inherited an instinct to hide any outward signs of pain. In the wild, an animal that is injured or infirm is vulnerable to attack, and there is a survival advantage to act like nothing is wrong, even when something most definitely is. Our pet dogs still suppress many of the obvious signals of pain to protect themselves and their social standing in their pack.